Hey, this is Mike. Awesome truck here. 2015 Ram 1500 in white. Now this one has the Eco Diesel engine. And the Eco Diesel is a small V6 engine, 3.0 liter uh, V6 engine that has a little turbo on it. And uh, it's an amazing little engine. Uh, feels as strong as a Hemi and uh, has a plenty, I think it has a little bit more torque than a Hemi actually. The horsepower is a little bit lower but um, don't really notice that when you're driving it. So this is the Laramie Longhorn uh, 1500 Ram. Now um, it, it does have remote start so I'm going to go ahead and start it up so you can hear the engine. has a real smooth real smooth sound to it it's not like a real knocky uh, diesel engine sound now here in the front you can see this is a premium truck it has the projector headlights uh, the sensors here in the front you have black tow hooks, chrome grill. I mean, yeah, chrome grill, and it has like a, uh, I don't know what that, like a wire frame or wire something there design. Chrome lower bumper, and the bumper cover is uh, matches the the color of the truck. Got fog lights, fog lights there. And we've got some LED accents there. I'm going to try to do a, a nighttime video on this particular truck because um, it's it's very similar to the uh, Laramie that, that I did a nighttime video on, but um, we'll see if there's any difference. Forged aluminum uh, wheels here, 20 inch. Has the side steps already installed. So um, it does have the proximity key. So I'm going to put the key in my pocket. It's, not, it's still locked. It has to be locked in order for the uh, remote start to work. So since it's a proximity key, I'm just going to put it here in my pocket and touch the handle, and it automatically opens up. If I want to relock it, I just push this button to relock it. Alright, so here's the inside of the passenger door. You can see it's, like I said, it's a premium truck. We have real wood grain here. Uh, stitching that matches the seats, which are a brown color, saddle brown. Pockets there and there. And um, you got the brown there. Speaker in the door that is part of the Alpine premium sound system with nine speakers power seat here. See, even the floor mats are premium. And this is a heated and cooled uh, seat, leather with uh, perforations here on the back and then in the bottom here. There's a little tag there telling you how to care for your leather. You've got the or a badge there, Longhorn badge. You also have one here on the center console. You have the Longhorn badge there with some filigree designs here on the side. You have a pocket there that's designed to fit a full size file folder. Here we have a glove compartment. We also have one down here. It does have a handle for getting in and out of the truck. You have the privacy glass here in the back. Inside of the back door is just as premium as the front. You can have the, the badges here in the back seats. And the, in the in the um, the back of the front seats has this belt buckle design here, and it is a magnet, but it does have some some good styling there with the uh, the western look with like a like a ram, like a uh, like a bull head there with the the long horns. 
And these seats here are heated as well. They're not ventilated, but they are heated. And the controls right here, that's the controls for the heated seats in the back. You got real nice, uh, all the way across one piece floor mat. Cup holders there. You also have some cup holders here in the center cons in the, the armrest here that folds down. Now underneath the seat on this side is your there's a fold flat feature to where you can fold this down flat and um, in case you need to let's say it's raining or something and you don't want to put something in the back of the truck you can use this as a cargo space and these little legs will flip up so you will this seat has to go up a little bit more in order to fold it down so um, but you get the idea it's a flat surface to to put something inside the back of the the truck here um, this you don't have to worry about putting in the cargo space back there, your, your bed. Now this lifts up. Uh, this one has the Alpine sound system. This is uh, the subwoofer and amplifier. And uh, if, if it didn't have the Alpine sound system, this would be a storage space here. And there is some storage space on the other side as well. But there's also, on both sides, let me get this mat out of the way a little bit. There's a storage space here on the floor. And it um, has a removable bin like that. So some people use it as a cooler. Some people use it for trash or pretty much anything you want. If you're going on a trip, it's good to have little storage spaces like this to, to put stuff. And it's on both sides. Um, so that's handy. And you see you have a speaker here. You got some hooks there and there. This has the ram threshold here, as well as in the front. So here in the back, you know you can see the the four x four badge there, the Longhorn badge on the other side. It does have dual exhaust, a towing package, backup cameras. I'm sorry, backup sensors there. Camera is here. There's a little lens. You can see it's a wide-angle lens. Looks similar to a um, like a GoPro uh, camera lens. But the sensors are these little button-looking things across the back of the bumper. They're in the front as well as the back. And I'll show you on the inside of the truck uh, why they're on the front and back. Now, when you lock and unlock the doors, uh, the tailgate will lock and unlock as well. And um, so, lowering the tailgate, you can see here that is a factory spray and bed liner. And this keeps, uh, you know, basically the, the, the spray and bed liner keeps moisture from getting underneath like a plastic bed liner or any dirt or whatever. Um, so it protects the bed quite well. And the tailgate is a big tailgate, but it's pretty easy to move up and down even with one hand. Uh, so it's not really an issue as far as that goes. Here's your fuel, uh, it's a place where you put your fuel in. Uh, this is just for shipping. It is a capless design. You just don't have to worry about put, putting a cap on there. It does have a rubber seal around here, and also it's a two-part. Has to go through two doors in order to put the fuel in. So uh, it's not a big deal as far as you know. If, if something were to get into this first part, it'll drain out. This right here is where you put your DEF fluid, diesel exhaust fluid. And um, you don't have to, unless you're going under extreme conditions, you don't have to put fluid in for under 10,000, around 10,000 miles. See the same, same thing on this side. Just want to show you on this side the, the storage in the floor. Uh, underneath the seat here and in in the floor. Pretty good amount of space. Um, I don't know if you can see the depth there, but it is a uh, pretty good amount of depth where you can put stuff in there. You don't have to worry about it rolling out or getting out of there and rolling around and getting in your way. Once it's in there, it is completely secure and completely out of the way. There's the side mirrors. They are heated, and they do have a power fold feature. Right here, you push this button and you can fold them in. 
push it again and fold out. So there's your pockets there at the bottom and water bottle holders. You got a pocket there, door locks, power windows. The front two are automatic. You just push one, push it one time, it'll go down. The back ones you do have to hold. Side mirror adjustments are there. Now everything in this truck, I mean almost everything except for the wood, is soft to the touch. I mean there's very little that's hard plastic. Like this part is right here is hard plastic, but that's not really where you touch. So um, lots of soft, soft to the touch stuff. There's the power seats. It does have a memory uh, for for two passengers, and it's uh, it's assigned to the key. So like say you can you can um, get in with a certain key, set your seat. You can also adjust your pedals too to a certain uh, distance out. The adjustable pedals right here, and it'll memorize the seat, the pedals, and your side mirrors. Uh, when you uh, get in with your key and same thing with the other key. It'll 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 have a, two different memories there Here's your automatic headlights your dimmer switch and This is for your cargo light when you push that button um, You can't really see it at night or anything, but I mean during the day you can see it at night the uh, this whole cargo this whole um, bed lights up when these lights up here There's your bright, shiny RAM threshold there. Premium floor mats. So I'm going to hop in. Now, since I used a remote start, it's reminding me I have to push the button. Click that, hit that. There we go. Turn the volume down. Showing me a flood warning again. I'm not sure what that's all about. That's uh, it happened on another truck a couple days ago, and they're in a clear uh, sky, so I don't know if they're having a, an issue with the alert system or something. But uh, it has nothing to do with the truck. It's just the alert system. Got handles on all four doors to get in and out. Now here's the steering wheel. It is a um, a leather wrap steering wheel with uh, color matching stitching here that matches the seats and then like a gold color center part here and up here is a wood this is a real wood and it's very grippy um, like right here on the leather is um, kind of smooth but when you get up here it's a uh, very grippy feel and it's not it's not slippery or anything like that it's very good uh, and has a good thickness too seems like too small if the the steering wheel is a little bit too small it kind of fatigues your hands while you're going on a long trip kind of digs into your hands but uh, with this truck with the thickness um, you know most of the new vehicles uh, have, a, have a thicker steering wheel so it's more comfortable so there's your ram head here in the steering wheel now on this side of the steering wheel is your cruise control here and where it says gear up and plus and gear minus that's to change through the gears especially helpful if you're going down a steep grade and you need to use some engine um, engine power to slow you down that's basically uh, the main the main feature there now on the back of the steering wheel it does have a volume button right there and you can you know turn the volume up and on this side you can change to the stations on the back of the steering wheel so that way you can kind of keep your hands on the steering wheel while you're traveling now on this side we've got some more buttons here on the front this is your voice recognition button you can push that and um, tell the, car, the truck to go to a certain radio station or uh, even go to a certain address or maybe you call a certain person there's lots of options with the voice recognition and there's your phone button where you can answer your calls and make calls there and hang up. You answer, hang up, and make calls using that same button. These arrow buttons here correspond with this awesome display. Now you can see it has like a western look to it, the longhorn with like a gold and little filigree designs and stuff around the outside your gauges. But this uh, this screen here is, um, is like a whole menu system. So right now it's in the speedometer 
icon right here is your icons they kind of flip through so I'm going to scroll down this is your vehicle info screen and uh, the first one is tire pressure and you can see these little butt bubbles at the top showing you that there's more to to be seen in this menu system so I'm going to scroll to the right this is your trans transmission temperature oil life battery voltage and a whole gauge summary and uh, this is your engine hours and then you keep scrolling it goes back to your tire pressure so I'm going to scroll down to the next icon this is your fuel economy and this will give you a real time uh, fuel economy uh, it'll give you an average which you can reset but also it gives you uh, you know exactly what you're getting in the moment and a little thing will pop up move around and you'll get a number there and also this screen also gives you a range which is 235 right now this is trip A uh, there's two trips A and B now the trips are not just uh, doesn't just measure your distance or whatever it does do that but also gives your average miles per gallon your average miles per hour and the time that it took you to make that trip and you can have, have two of them right here is your trailer tow screen and uh, basically this is tells you how many distance how many miles you, you pulled a trailer but also um, you can adjust your trailer brake gain uh, right here and there's a button for it I'll, I'll show you in a second this is just telling you what your radio is doing and stored messages will be right here this is where like say uh, time to change the oil or um, even if your turn signal is out or something like that it'll kind of tell you what's what you need to know there screen setup you can go into this and you can uh, change what's in the the corners of the screen right now it's the compass and the temperature you can change that if you want and you scrolling down we'll go back to your speedometer and then you can see on the dash it has stitching soft to the touch the whole dash got a pocket right here that says ram got real wood around it and what's neat about the real wood is you can feel the wood grain in it just by touching it it's, um, it's not cheap plastic or anything there's your shifter now your four wheel drive controls are below it but as far as shifting this truck you just put your foot on the brake and just turn the knob so right now we're in reverse and when I put it in reverse your backup camera pops up here and it is a distorted um, look it, it tries to get it's a wide angle lens so it gives you a wide view of what's behind you so it's not a real true view of what I mean you see the ground is curved really sharp and so what they do is they give you these lines here and uh, as you're backing up you can turn the steering wheel and as you turn the steering wheel those lines will turn curve to give you an estimated trajectory of your vehicle so that way you can kind of um, see where you're going in in relation to everything else also when you're in reverse your uh, parking sensors pop up here and it's in the front and the back so like when you're backing up and you're turning the wheel you might be focused on what's behind you but you might be you know turning the front of the truck into something so the parking sensors in the front really help out with that so we could just go ahead and put it in neutral and drive and uh, that's just, that's how you shift the gears so here's your 8.4 uh, inch screen and um, so right now it's in the radio icon you see all your icons here at the bottom radio it's in satellite radio it has AM FM your presets are here at the top and um, so you can adjust your audio here hitting media will take you to um, basically there's lots of different ways to play music not just the radio and this one does have a CD player which I'll show you in a second um, but you can plug in a USB auxiliary uh, it does have an um, auxiliary input uh, say for um, any kind of device that has output auxiliary and uh, SD card it also you can play music through a Bluetooth device like your cell phone once you pair your phone with the system so that's where you're and I like the way it's got that that longhorn steer I guess you can say I don't know the correct terminology there but it looks pretty cool in the background and here's where you find your heated and ventilated seat buttons um, there is some redundant buttons down here but they are also here and heated steering wheel ventilated seats here in the front and heated seats here in the front as well climate control 
this is where when you're hot which I am right now you can turn the temperature down to a more reasonable temperature and there's a dual zone but you also hit the sync button and sync both of them and that way once you touch this it'll take it off sync but you can sync both of them like that and this is your fan speed navigation is the next icon and let me show you what the map looks like you can see where you're at and right now it's showing a car and that kind of annoys me so let me hit options let me go to settings and uh, map setup vehicle icon and so we can change it of course we're going to change it to a um, to a, <laughs> a viper or something um, no we'll just change it to a truck but yeah you can change it to a viper if you wanted to all right except so now we see a truck there instead of a car so here's the screen you can zoom in and out and kind of see where you're at and um, you know the, the main roads here will, will be a little bubble so you can read them easier and you can also you know you can put in an address if you wanted to and point find different points of interest it's a very good uh, GPS system it's based on Garmin all right phone icon this is where once you pair your phone all this will kind of light up uh, you can make calls receive calls your phone book will be here recent calls there you can hit that and your um, you can dial out numbers with a keypad here you can also transfer it back to your 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 cell phone like say if you're in the middle of a call and there's other people in the car and you don't want them to uh, hear your phone call you can um, you know transfer it back to your cell phone apps this is where you do have to register for some of this stuff but um, let me show you all apps. Some of it will use your, like say, uh, iHeartRadio, Pandora, stuff like that. Will use the data from your cell phone. So, um, so you want to be aware that it is going to use, um, it is going to use your 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 data there. So going back here, this is one of my favorites, uh, Travel Link. Make sure I hit that. And there's all kinds of cool stuff here. Your weather, and uh, you can see a like a current three to six hour five days and um, pretty neat little icons there but another thing is this is very handy when if you're out of, out of your area if you're in an area where you're not familiar with fuel prices um, but because it, it not only does it give you the price also you can find your nearest gas station or fuel station and uh, let me change the fuel type and make sure it says diesel all right so now we've got the nearest gas station that that you know has diesel fuel and you can change it by brand you can sort it by price so right there if I want to save some money I can go to BP uh, they have fuel for 295 I can hit that one <coughs> excuse me and it shows me not only um, you know what their address but also their phone number so I can hit go now and uh, it'll take me to the navigation and tell, take me right to that place I can also call them right here and um, and just kind of you know ask them if they have you know something I'm looking for clean restrooms or whatever so that's a really cool feature when you're traveling um, and I guess that's why it's called travel link it, you know you get all kinds of different information it even has a weather map let me get you 100 mile so that kind of shows me um, let me go 300 miles it kind of gives you a real rough um, map there. It's not like super detailed, but it kind of gives you some ideas on, you know, what's going to happen and, you know, where the clouds are and everything. But anyway, there's your screen. There's some highlights. Uh, it does have a little bit more uh, to show you, but I um, just want to show you the highlights there. I can always turn the screen off if it's distracting me with that screen off button. The back button is for, like, if you get into a certain screen, you can hit that, and it'll go back to the previous screen. You have a volume button here and there this is this is your volume button this is through your tune your through your stations um, so you don't have to use the ones on the steering wheel and also you have your your buttons here for your your fan speed temperature controls and all that good stuff your climate controls uh, so you don't have to go on the screen either trailer brake uh, you can adjust the great gain right there and um, here at the bottom is other buttons for your ventilated seats and heated seats and heated steering wheel besides the screen 
uh, traction control traction control you can turn that off if you want to default is on uh, if you if you get stuck or something and you, you know you need to be have more control over the spinning of the tires and stuff you can turn it off tow and haul button if you're hauling a trailer or something you want to push that uh, the parking sensors in the back or the front you can turn those off independently in case you need, you know you need to get close to something and it's beeping and it's driving you nuts you can turn them off you got a pocket there you got a pocket there you also have a 150 watt 115 volt AC adapter and that'll be good for charging laptops and different things like that it's not gonna power a hair dryer or anything like that but uh but see here, here's some more stored pocket space you know when you get in this truck there's no shortage on um, storage space there's a you know just like on the other side there's a place to put a full-size file folder there and you always get in the truck and you get in your vehicle and you have a papers or something uh, that's a really good handy spot to put them out of the way put your business cards there power supply tons of stuff to just put junk in there cup holders place to put some pins and there's your armrest now the li this lifts up and you have like a shallow section up here and basically like for like, it's like a tablet or cell phone or pretty much anything here papers um, but right here is where you'll find a USB charger as well as your USB input your, your SD card input and auxiliary input for your radio like I showed you before in the uh, the media tab This whole thing lifts up, and there's the CD player. I know you're probably wondering where it's at, but there it is. And then you've got this massive place to just like throw a bunch of junk and and um, and clutter it up. But uh, then it's hidden because you just close this down, and nobody nobody knows how messy it is under there. <laughs> All right, so up here we do have a auto dim rear view mirror. If somebody's behind you and they got bright lights on, it's going to auto dim this mirror so it's not blinding you. And it also uh, auto dims the headlights, your headlights, so you don't blind other people. You have an assistance button, that's for your roadside assistance. 911 button, that's for 911. It does have, this truck does have a cellular connection to where even if you don't have a, a cell phone paired, you can hit that 911 button and it'll take, it'll call 911 even without a cell phone in the vehicle. There's your home link garage door openers. This right here is for your sliding glass in the back you got tap lights and this one has a sunroof so let's open up the shade and we can we can vent it or we can open it up all the way it slides back it goes all the way but I'm just kind of showing you and if you just don't want the light coming in you just close the shade Visors have mirrors and lights. Same thing on that side. Here's the window sticker. Let's quickly pan that. You can use the pause button if you want, if you want to focus in on a particular thing. And the gas mileage check it out check out other videos people will drive in these trucks and uh, you'll see that that gas mileage is kind of low right it's a low estimate this truck gets really good gas uh, fuel mileage sorry <laughs> all right so let's look see what's look what looks like what that uh, little engine looks like I say little compared to the other Let's go right here little 3.0 liter v6 3.0 liter eco diesel did I say 3.6 I don't know um, 3.0 liter turbo diesel um, and this is the eco diesel and the engine I think is made in Europe but um it's amazing the torque this thing has. It has a lot of torque and, and fuel economy. And it's not very loud, is it? Alright, so there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. My name is Mike.
and um, if you could subscribe like my videos share them all that good stuff it'll really help me out and I appreciate you watching I'll see you next time